Do all Christians think the same? Suggested by Wiconic. Probably not, but let's find out. Stick around till the end, enjoy the episode. You're like, well, I wanna love who I wanna love. There's that attraction. It's like, where do you draw the line? I'm a grown man, I like little boys. That if is we not go the by same how we, You know that's not the same I know thing. you don't agree with that, and I know that it is the same. Music is good, and some of it is lame. But that's the same <laughs> with like any kind yeah, of music. Yeah, any genre of music is so. the same way. I have to be like in a certain setting or a certain mind state to listen to it. I kind of agree that some is good and some is bad, but I kind of feel like 60 to 70 percent of it is not good <laughs> or like exciting. But maybe I'm kind of traumatized because I could only listen to Christian music when I was a kid. Yeah. So I'm now saying. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. that's relatable. <laughs> yeah, that might be part of it. I mean, I'm gay, I'm from like a little town in Texas. It's difficult to not question your faith because you're told that gay people can't be Christians or Christians can only follow these certain uh, rules that are set out. So for me, when I started to grow and to get a relationship with Christianity myself is whenever my faith became stronger, but it was definitely difficult and I'm still really going through that right now. There were things that I, felt like I was born knowing that God loved me and that God was good. And then when I came into the church a little bit later, there were some beliefs, because um, I'm queer, so that people were just like, this is what it is, and you can't be this, and like, this is not da 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 But the reason I'm in this line is because I never felt that from God. I still felt like he loves me. to make some enemies. <laughs> when we mention support, it means to accept. And I don't accept the lifestyles within the community, but do I love them? Do I want the best for them? I absolutely do. Do I think that we should be mean to them in church? Do I think that we should shun them from church? No, and I'm sorry that you guys had that experience because that is awful, that is horrible. No one should go to a church and feel like you need to run away from it. It's interesting though because the thing that has hurt me the most is actually the language with which you're speaking, which is m more confusing, I think. No one actually shunned me. It was more like this, more like, I love you, but like God kind of wants to like send you to hell. I do have Christian friends who are queer or gay and they're struggling, they're abstaining from the lifestyle, but the LGBTQ community says there's nothing wrong with that lifestyle. They're proud of that status, not remorseful or trying to be aligned with what the Bible says about it. You are literally picking one part of the Bible that you believe and throwing away everything else there's like certain materials that we're not supposed to wear. There's certain foods that we're not supposed to eat, but we don't discriminate against people who do that. But we do discriminate against people who literally just love someone different. If you're gonna disagree with it, you also have to understand like the weight of what you are asking a queer person to do. When you look at someone and you feel like they're attractive and you have to disagree with that part of yourself every second of the day, you have to tell yourself that's freaking wrong, that's freaking wrong. And at like every second, like you don't think that I should, I should not marry a woman that I love? I'm not saying you should be alone. I'm saying at the basis of anything, I want you to be who God created you to be. And I know that for you, you're believing that I was created this way to love this way. But I would actually wonder because you're like, well, I wanna love who I wanna love, there's that attraction. But when I, it's like, where do you draw the line? when there's, I'm a, track, I'm a grown man, I like little boys. I am a person, oh, I like, and I know girl. that you don't agree with that, no. but there are lines because that if we go by how we- You know that's not the I same I know thing. you don't agree with that, and I know that it is the same. 
I think the LGBT is like a huge topic within the Christian community, but it doesn't make it any worse than like I drink and stuff, and sometimes I drink in excess, which is a sin. Um, but it just doesn't get, that's normalized, you know what I mean? Like that doesn't get attacked as frequently as like a LGBT would, like community would, you know what I mean? I just define support differently. Um, I think you can completely support somebody's right to love and feel love without supporting homosexual activity. Homosexual activity is sinful. Raping a child is sinful. We can argue about what's worse or what's more acceptable or what our society has normalized, but at the end of the day, we all sin. We all sin in different ways. And none of those sins should be celebrated. None of those sins should be condoned. And all of us should be working not to change who we are, but to become more like Christ. got some explaining to do over there. <laughs> it sounds great to say God loves everybody and, does, and God does love everybody, but I don't believe equally. He loves his own children more than the others in the world. He would not send someone that he loves truly to hell. He is love. That's what his embodiment is. So I think it's impossible for him to not show love towards his children. I don't think it's there's varying degrees. I think it's all standardized against everyone. Like, everyone is loved equally. I would date someone who isn't Christian. Three, two, one, go. Sure, I'll go on this one now. <laughs> I am married. I've been married for almost 10 years to a Christian man. For me, what I feel in the Bible that God describes as a Christian family is two people, husband and wife, who are devoted to serving the Lord together. And we need somebody to come alongside us who is helping us to pursue our purpose and our calling in Christ. It's totally possible and often happens that people of different religions or someone who's a Christian and that doesn't have a religion at all are able to still work together and are able to still help people grow in their faith. I totally agree that I could learn from non-Christians, even benefit from relationships with Muslims, Buddhists, or other non-Christians. But the Bible is specific about not being yoked in marriage to unbelievers. Whether you're a Muslim, Christian, or a Buddhist, and you find someone who doesn't share that, I think you're missing something core in that relationship, which won't work for any marriage. But the thing is, uh, when you break down so many of the major religions, a lot of the tenets are the same, and we kind of believe the same thing inherently. But that's where I disagree. I think we're very different yeah. in terms of what we believe. That we may have similar activities, like going to church or a mosque, but what I personally believe about Jesus is not shared with yeah, other religions. no one else agrees 100%. with that. I wish I could be over there, but I can't. Um, unfortunately, I made some bad decisions when I was younger. The people that I've been with prior, there's always a piece of me with them, you know what I mean? Like, it's something I can never get back. It kind of bums me out a lot, because <laughs> it's like, I wish I could have saved myself all the way until marriage um, in all aspects of physical relations. As far as sex goes, I mean, that ship already sold, but I do think that as a Christian, I should be dating to find someone to be with long-term or finding someone to marry. And so part of that does involve sometimes waiting a little bit longer, waiting longer to like have sex and to like really be intimate. So I personally am actually not even kissing until I get engaged, which a lot of people don't believe me about, but I had a two-year relationship and I promise it happened and, and it was hard. Strong, girl. I didn't particularly like it, but I just find so much strength and closeness to God in reserving my physical expression of love for people. Even though it's very, very far from easy, it's something I'm so excited for. To be able to tell that person, I saved this, the most intimate part of myself for you because God was the only one who had a key to my heart before this.
Yeah, I'm not saying that I'm a good person, but I'm saved by faith in Jesus Christ who forgives me of my sin. I know where I place my faith, and that's why I know where I'm going to go. I don't know. It's hard to know exactly what specifically is considered the biggest sins that will keep someone from going to heaven, especially for me when I haven't put as much thought into it as I should. Christianity is not about just making sure you're checking off all the boxes to go to heaven. I feel like that robs us of the heaven that's present here on earth. All I'm responsible for is doing my best every day, and I pray that I do that every day, and I think that's true for everybody. Everybody is just responsible for their best. High fives! <laughs> Christian high fives all around. <laughs> This is the whitest thing I've ever done. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I could probably step on every one of these lines at a different point in my life. Because I grew up a Christian, but like changed so much over time. Uh, if you want to grow and evolve with us, yeah. make sure you like and subscribe. Let us know what you thought in the comments below about all the prompts. We love when you guys are answering them and we love to interact with you guys. And as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram as well. IG. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time.